new videos every day. Life, wisdom, psyche truth, massage. This is Athena Jezik, and I'm going to do a little relaxation work on Karina. I'm just going to show you how little you can do, how slow you can move to take someone into a nice relaxed state, let them feel refreshed afterwards. So I'm going to start by just stroking the neck and then either side of the vertebrae and then come up into an occipital base release which is that cranial technique. And while we're making these videos, we've made a lot of them and I'm curious to find out if you if you like the way we're putting them together. We want them to be pretty, aesthetically beautiful to look at, as well as having a lot of good content in it. Different ideas to think about so that you can get a lot out of a video. But we're not sure what you want um, or what you prefer, so if you would rather her be draped up to her neck, let us know if you'd rather have a, a model that reflects more of what society might show, being a little overweight. Um, let me know. Let us know in your comments. If you like it just the way it is, then let us know that too. That would be very helpful. So we just really want to know if you think this is way too sexy, but I don't think it is, but maybe some of you out there do. And of course, if it's relaxing for you as well to watch these videos, any of that kind of thing would be very helpful to comment on. I'm relaxing her down a little more with a little bit of lymphatic work on the neck just to open up any kind of congestion that might be around. It's been, oh, there's been a lot of pollen in Austin area. There's been spraying. There's been cold weather and warm weather, so everybody's body is wondering what's going on. It doesn't quite know how to react to all of this stimulus from these weather patterns. And here's a little, just a little bit of checking the muscle. Okay. So now I'm going to take a little bit of oil, just a little. If you have some kind of a facial uh, oil or lotion, sometimes that might be better to use on the face, although this is a good quality oil, which you don't want to use a lot. And this is not a facial per se, this is just a face massage. So massage therapists out there, be careful how you word things. There's a lot of fighting over words. And massage therapists are not supposed to do facials, but we can do face massages. So I'm just following the jawline and feeling the muscles where they're attaching along here, making sure they're all smooth. And coming down through the chin. under the nose. And under the eyes, on the cheekbones. When you, when you do massaging on the face, you wanna, you wanna bring the stroking upward, going against gravity as much as possible. You're following the contours of the face as well, but you want to have that final little sweep be upward so that you're working 
against gravity, instead of stretching the skin downward, where it's going to go eventually anyway. Okay, you can go around the ears. This is an interesting little thing to do behind the ears. That feels real good. And sometimes grabbing the earlobe, but you don't want to pinch hard. You just want to make some circular motions around the ears. If the ears seem to be full or there's a lot of congestion in the head, you can put your fingers inside the ear, meld onto the skin of the inner of the, of the ear right inside there where you are and just twist it a little. That oftentimes feels real good and then you can, that's a little lymphatic work and then you can just go back and work the ear around and down to the neck and then you can pull up on the neck again turn it to the side take it in some nice the neck muscles and other side same thing that you have enough oil on your hands to make it slippery but not too much that you slip and slide too much and then I'm gonna take her back into a cranial base release and just let it feel like it's way more open and this isn't a real accurate one but it's just a way to check in with the muscles and see how much they've softened And something else that's real relaxing to do is to get yourself a little bit to the side of them and slide your hand underneath so you're on the spine right behind them and take your other hand and just rest it across the clavicles and the upper chest and just lightly press the hands together without a whole lot of force but just hold it there and as you meld into the tissues again you're gonna feel some movement going this is very very relaxing sometimes this is a good way even to start out a massage if people are stressed or they're kind of short of breath from their stress or just felt a little harried about maybe traffic or whatever you can do this and just intuitively stay as long as you feel that you need to but while I'm doing this and their person is relaxed if Karina's really relaxed that her body's correcting and doing some work even though it doesn't seem like much there's a lot of activity happening under my hands right now well, that's another little thing you can do. This chair back. Usually sitting on chairs that roll are easier. Back out. Check the shoulders here and we can go into the upper chest a little bit. just going along the pec muscle following kind of the line of the clavicle and then you can also come down on it going a little bit at an angle the way the shoulder is you always want to follow the contours of the body as much as possible and stay focused on what the muscles are doing how the muscles are heading, what they're doing on hands. And then here's some relaxation here in that idea as you can spread that out and kind of pinch it up a little bit and take both hands into it. 
and relax or you can just take a hold of it and kind of work your way inside deeper or it's better probably to use your fingers rather than the thumbs but you can get down and actually palpate the anterior part of that your the part of the trapezius that's coming forward instead of the back part you can actually get in and feel a little bit of the front part of the trapezius here and tie that in to the rest of the neck shoulders back up to the neck go around to the face again this is just no routine on this one this is just hodgepodge in it together so as you can see I do much repeating and but I try to get things on both sides so that it's balanced I just want you to get an idea what you can do you can also <clears throat> work in the head where you're you know working into the scalp but you're not just moving hair follicles around, you're actually moving skin on the head. Okay, then you can take the neck, stretch it out and let it unwind a little bit, but you can turn it this direction, to the left or the right for that matter, and your fingers are right here at the occipital base. You can just take and you're not really digging into it, but you're holding it. You're holding it, a little traction to it, and then stretch under there. You can also go up underneath the shoulder here and press up into that levator muscle. At the same time, you're pulling a traction up at the neck, the top of the neck, up at the occipital base, and then ride everything up. And same thing over here. You're pulling that up. Now she's a little tight in this shoulder. And then bring that up. So in that there's a little tension in that shoulder. Come around to the shoulder side and also get under it this, dire this direction. Stretching it down. I'm pushing up at the scapula. I'm not really pushing, I'm really just supporting it and letting it be a pedestal while I'm letting this shoulder, I'm dropping this, but not with a lot of force, just to see if it'll open up. And if it doesn't open up, that's a good one. Now I can feel it really opening. You can also come under this way, and you got your hand more on the shoulder blade, make circles happen. You can bring the arm up and shake it a little bit to help loosen that out. You can also make a stretch across the body. What you want here is you want to make sure the shoulder is down, stretching it this direction. Back up, opening it up. Okay. And you can bring it up over the head in this manner, giving a nice stretch here. And of course, when you do this, you can also work the muscles here as well, if you so desire. You can go that direction. You can also bend it, bend the elbow and bring it up. It's a little bit more awkward. And take it back down, circle. Yeah, and cross and over. And then you can do the same thing on the other side. Just working the arm, setting it down. It can be set it across the body. If you set it across the body, you can also come up underneath in this direction up to the scapula and cause a little bit of movement there, pressing down. You can see how that is pressing as that presses the hand is moving. So we're getting a nice range of motion in the shoulder. 
Okay, and then we'll pretend like we did the other hand, the other arm, and then you can just come back up and check the neck again. Check how well it's working. It feels like it's moving with a lot of elasticity. That's good. You can feel stuck points. You can also take the head up this way. Now, if you're going to take it up forward, you want to give it a little traction as you lift. And you can also stretch it this way. But be careful doing this. And then if you hold the head here, you can let it come back this way. But you want to support the neck in that move. So you're supporting the neck as you're bending it back. It's a little more supportive. It's similar to the cranial base release, but you're supporting it from the neck instead of the base of the skull. So her neck is moving good. She looks plenty relaxed. The shoulders are loose, looser. You can check them. If the head moves like this, that's a good thing. That shows that there's no tension. And a nice way to end is just follow the hair all the way out to the end, if, if that's possible. It just is a nice way to end. If your hands also aren't too greasy, because sometimes people don't want a lot of oil on their hair, but oftentimes it, there's not much left on your hands after you work. So there we have a little bit of, of relaxation work and some ideas that you can maybe incorporate into your work. And please let us know if this is something that you enjoy seeing, if the videos are too sexy, or if you'd rather have somebody draped, or if you'd rather have a heavy person rather than this. Like I say, we want to make it aesthetically beautiful as well as the content, but we'd like to also know your opinion. Okay, thank you so much for watching. This is Athena Jezik.